Hey guys, and welcome back to another low budget cooking video, your fave. Today's video is going to be centered around this sad little half used bag of cranberries left over from the holidays, if I'm being honest. Crayon crafted, that's cute instead of handcrafted, crayon crafted, it's pretty cute that's been sitting in my fridge, staring at me every time I open it up, saying, please use me before I disintegrate into mush. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I have decided on a crayon blueberry crumble. And I'm very excited, not only because I don't like to waste food, I really never do. I either compost it, freeze it, give it away. I never throw out food. So I'll be getting to use up these cranberries and also enjoy a delicious crumble, which I haven't had a crumble in ages. So, win-win. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is everything we're gonna be needing for today's recipe. I had pretty much all of it on hand, which was nice. Starting with the star of the show, our cranberries. This is about two cups worth. One and a half cups blueberry. You could also use strawberry, raspberry, blackberry. I had blueberries on hand and I think they're gonna pair really nicely with the cranberries because blueberries, they can be tart, but typically um, I would say they're more sweet than tart. And since cranberries are so tart, I really don't wanna use anything that's gonna be too overpowering with the cranberries. So the blueberries are gonna kind of mellow this out. A heaping half cup light brown sugar. You could also use regular or dark brown sugar a tablespoon in addition to the half cup, quarter teaspoon salt, quarter cup water, third cup orange juice, some quick cook oats. I have about a half cup here. You can omit this. I like the flavor of oats in addition, but definitely feel free to leave it out if you're not a fan. One and a half cups flour. I have one cup flour with a half cup wheat flour. I have some nuts here. This is about a half cup worth, and this is a mixture of walnuts and pecans. And fun fact, I actually shelled these myself yesterday. A word of warning, don't deshell your own nuts. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. I thought it was gonna be therapeutic, it wasn't. One can coconut milk. This is going to be for our vegan whipped cream topping. Yeah, everyone knows whenever you have a crumble, you have to either top it with whipped cream or ice cream. Nutmeg, cinnamon, ground ginger, and vanilla. Whoa, 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 something's missing here. Butter. That's about three tablespoons worth of vegan butter. You could also use coconut oil. It's really delicious as well. All right, so I'm gonna be using this very cute, small Martha Stewart pot. And I have this on a medium high heat. And I'm just gonna let this heat through for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna add in my cranberries. So this pot is pretty much heated through. I'm gonna add in our cranberries. Along with our water and our orange juice. Now I'm gonna let these simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Ooh, they're starting to pop already. Oh, hello, okay. Look at this gorgeous color. So for right now, I'm just wanting them to soften and break down that hard exterior shell. So about five to 10 minutes and then I'll check back on these. All right, while our cranberries are simmering away, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this crumble topping. We have our flour, our oats, our salt, brown sugar, vanilla. You could really use as much as you prefer. I like a lot of vanilla. I'm never gonna be offended by the taste of vanilla. So I'm using about a tablespoon, I would say. Some ground ginger. I thought the flavor of the ginger would pair really nicely with the cranberries. And I'm gonna be using about a quarter teaspoon. Some ground cinnamon about a quarter teaspoon, some nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon, our nuts, and lastly, our butter. So I'm gonna be breaking this butter into small pieces. I have had this chilling in the freezer for about 30 minutes. It's just easiest to work with whenever it's really cold like that. Okay, as you can see, we've crumbled up all of our butter and now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my hands and mix this up. Feel free to use a spoon. I prefer to get my hands dirty and just massage it all together. 
between the smell of this crumble topping and the cranberries cooking, um, it really smells delicious. We officially have crumble topping. Nice. I don't recommend licking your fingers. This is exactly what I was looking for from our cranberry. They're softened, but they also still have a bit of texture. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and move this pot off the heat because it will continue to cook. And I'm gonna let this cool down for a few minutes. So for my crumble, I'm just gonna be using this pie dish. Little individual ramekins would be really cute. I've done that in the past. I'm just gonna go ahead and add our cranberries. Spread these out a bit. And to our cranberries, I'm gonna add, you guessed it, our blueberries. Give these a stir. Okay, oh my gosh, guys, look at the color on that. That is gorgeous. And also keep in mind, because this is fruit, this automatically makes this dessert healthy. Just an FYI. Time to layer on our crumble. Now, you can use as much or as little as you prefer. I like a lot of crumble. You might not. You might like it a little lighter. I like to be very heavy-handed, you might say. Very heavy-handed. So, I'm probably going to use all of mine. Yeah. Waste not. Beautiful. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Go ahead and add this baby in. Oh, hello. Somebody smells crumble. And I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes to start off. It might take a little longer. I like my crumble to be nice and brown. So we'll play it by ear, but 30 minutes to start. While our crumble is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and make our vegan brown sugar whipped cream. Yum. So I have our coconut milk. I have had this in the fridge, so it is nice and cold and chilled. And I'm just gonna be scooping out the fatty part. We're not looking for the liquid, so just the fat. And as you can see, this is very thick and that's why it's gonna be perfect for whipped cream. So. And I've actually never made my own vegan whipped cream, so this is also a fun first. And there's a really good amount of cream. As you can see, it's just the liquid that's left. And I'm not going to throw this out. I'll be using this. Sorry, I'm a drippy mess right now. I'm going to be using this um, in a smoothie or something. Like I said, I don't waste. So I'll find purpose for this. Splash of vanilla. Tablespoon brown sugar. Let's mix this baby up. Moment of truth, guys. That is whipped cream. Time to check on our crumble. It's been a half hour. It's looking very crumbly, starting to turn golden brown. Fruit is bubbling up and caramelizing on the edges, but it needs more time. I'm gonna say probably about another 15 or 20 minutes. I'll see you soon. So it's been another 20 minutes. So right now we're at a total of 50 minutes in the oven. And yes, that looks good. I went ahead and just scooped up a small portion of the crumble put it in this cute little cup. And to top this all off, our vegan whipped cream. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you because I can't, you're about to see what happened to our whipped cream, but it fell a little flat. So I let it sit in the freezer in hopes it would firm back up, and it did, but um, let's just say it's not pretty. So I would recommend for a vegan whipped cream, it pretty much needs to be used right before you're gonna eat. That way it stays nice and fluffy. It's still gonna taste good. The crumble is nice and warm. And so really the whipped cream would have melted on it anyways. Yes, this is me justifying it. Um, but that's okay. It's a cross between like whipped cream and ice cream. Pop this with a little cinnamon just to make it look pretty. Mm. 
T T T taste test time. Okay, a little bit of everything. The fruit, mmm, the crumble, and our whipped cream. Those cranberries are still super tart. I mean, delicious. The blueberries balance them out really well, but mm, man, nice tart kick. Um, you get like that nutty, delicious cinnamon nutmeg ginger flavor from the crumble. Nice cool whipped cream right on top, melting ever so nicely. Mm, not too sweet, just sweet enough. Mmm. I love whenever you get a bite of crumble and it's just like, it's like getting a good chunk of granola, you know, like one of those big clusters where it's just got everything, like the nuts and like a little burst of cinnamon and butter. Delicious. Delicious. Okay, guys, I'm going to go enjoy this probably with a cup of coffee. A glass of red wine also sounds nice, but I don't have any. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you try out the recipe and enjoy it, then please leave me a comment and give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.